Welcome Cancer. This is your reading for May 2024. So we're back on the island and we're going to start this reading. Before we begin, I'm going to ask that you are surrounded by pure white light. I'm going to ask to have your higher self come forth today to give you the information that you need to hear for your highest good and the highest good of everyone else concerned. Okay, so let's begin. Let's just dive right in. Um, just want to remind you that this is your reading. So what the signs and symbols that come up if they don't mean what I'm telling you, it doesn't make sense to you, but it means something else, take it for what it means to you. This is your reading. You are in control. You are um, the one who is having the relationship with your higher self. So remember, if you see a sign that means something different for you, then you accept it because it's all about you. This is your reading. All right, let's begin. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's see what's coming up in May. Okay, so this is talking about a loss. So if you've been feeling a loss um, in April, this is talking about some changes that are gonna be occurring in May. Okay, so I believe that things are going to be brighter and more enjoyable for you for May. And I'm just gonna confirm it. <laughs> Yes, piano. So this is talking about you, you know, you have been hanging on, you've been getting through some times, and this is about um, you're, you're playing through now. This is where your things are going to be sounding better for you, um, uplifting, you know, the song of your life is going to be in a higher key now. Um, you should have your theme song this month, okay? Create your theme song about happy days are here again, because that's what's coming up for you for this month. It's, it feels like you've had to deal with a lot uh, in April. I don't know if you were, it was some financial issue, maybe getting your taxes together, um, but whatever it was that you felt like you kind of lost out on, and it can be something as simple as taking a trip that you wanted to take. This is talking about things playing out and better for you for this month. And let me just check. Yes. When I said happy days are here again, here is happy days are here again. This is celebration. This is party. This is great. So again, I hope you do have that theme song in your head because it's going to be better for you. I'm excited for you. Much better. And if you can hear my little hummingbirds are flying around saying, yay. <laughs> they might fly by too. Okay. In fact, there's one that's just sitting on the fence right over there. Just listening to your reading. Okay. Oh, wow. So you got the soul card. So definitely for you, this is about having a great month. Okay. This gets down to your soul. So again, if you were like really feeling in April, like it wasn't what you wanted to be, now you're getting down to the soul, the heart, the soul. This is great. Good reading for you. Yeah, it feels like you made a lot of sacrifices. Okay, so this is bartering. This is, um, you know, the card is like prostitution, really, but it's not, it's more about you having to have made sacrifices to um, compensate. And now this is getting down to the soul core of what you want, okay, and what your needs are. Um, and this is the month with, where you start to achieve the things that you wanted to do. And it doesn't have to be on such a grand scale. It can be as simple as you were going to put a down payment on a house and you, you know, that's what you really wanted. And this is finally like you've found ways to make that work. Okay. So this is the month where you kind of really take the leap of um, getting what you want, what you need in your heart and your soul, even to the point of, you know, if you were thinking of um, buying a pet, you know, this is in your heart, you really, in your soul, you really wanted that. And so it's maybe the time when you're going to take that leap. Okay. It's about, you know, adjusting to create what you want. This is core level stuff. Yeah. And again, when I mentioned the house, here's a house. So um, again, if that was what, what is resonates with you, that maybe it was, you were ready to like really want a home. This is about how you can make that happen, what you need to do. Again, the bartering, the, the, the 
making those plans. Um, what, what is it going to take? Is it going to be taking like getting a budget together now? What is in your soul that you want? It has to do with your home. It has to do with what you feel comfortable. It's finding your home in a lot of ways. Wow. This is a good month for you. Wow. Truth. And you are. This is so powerful for you this month. This is really di di all those things. First of all, I just want to tell you, whatever you were feeling as a loss for last month um, and really feeling like, you know, it wasn't moving fast enough and you, you wanted it to move fast enough. This is about you celebrating, creating, playing out what you want to play out in your life. These are the steps that you take now. And this is the truth. There's no denying what you want anymore. What's in your heart, what's in your soul, whether it's creating a home, a family life, whatever it is, it, it feels like it definitely is, is domestic home issues, something in the home. Yeah. The truth is you, and also you don't want to be, this is really great because it, again, this is the tent and this is the home, you know, and here's the home. So you no longer want to be isolated in this tent anymore. Okay. You really want this home. You really, the truth is you don't want to be alone anymore. Or if you've been backing away from people and shutting out, this is the time now where in your soul, you're ready. You're ready to venture out. Powerful, powerful cards for you. A lot to think about. I'm excited for you. I can't wait to hear what's happening with you as far as this month. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. And also th this card. So this, you know, is a person who says one thing and does something else. And the truth is that is sort of like your, um, that person on your shoulder who, who kind of says negative things. And sometimes it could be you. It, you can say, I don't deserve this. I don't need this. I can never do this. Or it can be somebody who's been negative around you. And the truth is you don't need that in your life anymore. And the, you need to start trusting your soul. Okay. So this is what it's about. It's about being honest. It's about really going forward and doing what you want for your future, where you want to be. No longer saying you can't do this. Okay. This is the negative card. This is the, you know, somebody, you know, they call him the evil man, but he's not the evil man. It's, it's your, your subconscious negative talking, critical thinking, or it can actually be somebody who's negative around you. You don't need that anymore because you know what you want. This is your truth. This is your soul. And you get to make decisions this month that are going to really bring you forth into celebrations right here. Okay. Wow. So please let me know how this went for you. If it makes sense to you, I'd love to hear about it. Um, comment, let me know, like, and if it's the first time you are watching this video, please subscribe. And if you get a chance, I have some YouTube daily shorts and the hummingbirds have been giving messages. So I'm uh, putting those out there too. So have a wonderful May. A lot going on for you. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Thanks for watching. Have a great May.